Reading YouTube. Today we're looking at an Effingro knife. This is the Effingro 52. Get that out of the way. And here we go. You know, first thing you're going to notice is this uh, really nice bright orange, which sometimes I like to carry just because it's not a uh, tactical black. And I like have a little color in my knife collection. Um, flat G10 scales with a nice chamfer all the way around the edge. Nice ample um, lanyard hole if you want to be able to get a uh, um, a piece of uh, 550 paracord in there. You could do that without any difficulty. Um, these are nice flat uh, pivot here. I like that. Everything everything here is like the same plane, which I think is a nice, nice touch. It's a flipper. You can see that right off the bat. You can also see that it is a single position tip up carry um, setup. Um, I, it bugs me that Knives a lot of the time are just single position, um, and if you don't like tip up carry, this isn't, this isn't a knife for you. Uh, nice pop came out of the box like this. I did not have to do anything to this thing to get it to come to pop right out when I when I when I opened the box up. This is a flat grind, ever so slight convex in here as it gets to the edge. Um, has a nice feel to it, nice and smooth. Just has a nice uh, taper overall it's a, it is a little bit thinner so i would consider this to be uh, like a medium duty or maybe you know, even somewhere between a light and medium duty um uh, blade design has a nice swedge here the comes out of the box with a reasonably uh sharp edge uh decent grind i like the overall aesthetics of this particular design and i like uh flippers for other reasons because it gives you that nice safe uh, stop right there so your fingers not going to move forward onto the blade um, The only thing downside on this was, was as far as the scale are concerned is that while this chamfer here is nice The edge itself is a little crisp for my taste Because the, this is nice flat goes into a nice there But the edge right there I think they could have put a little bit of a radius on that and it would have been uh, it Would be a little bit more comfortable and these are solid uh, uh, liners which a knife this light doesn't matter a whole lot now one of the things i like to do before i do a review is carry a knife for a couple of weeks just to get my sense of you know how does it ride in the pocket and you know how does it deploy things like that unfortunately i could not carry this particular knife because this clip is so small that that ramp right there is so tiny i cannot get this to slide over a, the pocket of a pair of jeans it won't go over the seam on the edge of a pair of, of, a, of a jean pocket which was really distressing now i can fix that that's that's not a big issue that's is something i could de most definitely fix but i wanted to show you folks it in its unmodified form so you can see that this may be an issue for you so if you're looking for a knife that you want to take out of the out of the box and slip into your jeans so you can take it to work you're probably not going to be able to carry this knife so i was disappointed in this this is the first f and grow i can say that i was disappointed in because other than that i mean like the blades centered it's got um some sculpt uh, sculpted off you know uh, uh offset pins in here which are nice it's got the fully opened construction which means it makes it very easy to keep clean so it's got some nice features going for it, but um, I can't I can't carry it, which really in my book defeats the purpose of having a knife with a belt or a pocket clip. So yeah, that's a that's a big fail in my book. This needs to be longer and have more of an angle to it, so that it will ramp over that seam that rolled seam on a, on, a, on a pocket so yeah this is the first f and grow i can really say that i'm disappointed in um it's kind of a bummer but you know what are you going to do you, you know you're not going to hit every you know everyone is not going to be uh, a home run but i do like the way the knife the blade pops it's really smooth silky smooth it's got a nice christmas to it Boom, right out there i like that that slight Christmas to the scales kind of bugs me, and the fact that I can't carry it is a disappointment. So overall, 
it's decent build quality. I think they could have rounded this and they had put a better pocket clip on here. That would be something I would be far more readily able to endorse. I can't endorse this particular model all that much. I can say that if you like this aesthetic and you don't want, you can want to take the pocket clip off and just carry it in your pocket or onto a, uh, a pouch or something like that. This could be something that you like or you want this for your toolbox or something like that. Just throw it into a survival kit or something because it's a nice bright orange and hard to lose in the forest. This could be a knife that you that you find a lot of utility with. But if you're looking to carry it in your pants, unless your pocket is actually very thin, which you can get in some tactical pants I've seen, particularly uh, some of the ripstop. It's very thin material that might work on those. Um, you're going to be disappointed in this knife because I know I was. So this has been the F and Grow um, EF52. I, again... I'm kind of bummed out that I couldn't carry it and give you guys more of a detailed review because I don't know what this is like to carry around for a week or so because uh, I couldn't.